Hi, it's the Rawsome Vegan Gal here and today I'm doing another different kind of video. It's actually another book review. And I want to thank Brandon and also Perry A, who is the writer of this book called Calcium Bentonite Clay, Nature's Path to Healing. And here there's a picture of the natural bentonite hills. She says, balance, detox, stimulate, and alkalize. And I have this cute little pin. I actually did a couple of videos from a company called Living Clay, which uh, Perry A. was the founder of. She's no longer associated with the company anymore. The company's been sold. But this cute little button says, have you had your clay today? And once I talk to you about clay, I mean, I, the other two videos I will actually link below this video as well. And some links to some of Perry A. Si Perry A. sites that you can check out. And um, so, yeah, I've already discussed in those previous videos about quite a bit about clay from um, a little booklet she had here called How to Kickstart Your Day with Living Clay. And um, so I'm not going to go into some of those things, but I wanted to talk about this new book. She did write another book previously um, called, I think it was called The Clay Book. I don't have that first book. So I can't tell you, but she did uh, expound upon that. That's why this book was was published. So to tell you a little bit about her, she was a motivational speaker, but she got into clay, um, uh, interested in calcium bentonite clay more than 20 years ago. She has a bachelor's of science in agriculture from Texas Tech uh, University, <clears throat> and she's a motivational speaker. And oh, I will also have a Q&A with her on my blog, and I'll have a link below this video too when that comes out. That'll be the day after this video comes out, so the link will be posted after that. So you can check that out for sure, and also my blog link is below this video as well. So this is a phenomenal book, and for many reasons. Um, Perry A. really breaks things down and <clears throat> talks about about clay and uh, why you should eat it. Like she says, uh, the skept she was a skeptic too um, when she first tried it in 1994, but since then, uh, she's definitely, they call her the clay lady. And she, she really talks about, <clears throat> about clay, what it is, how a clay acts as a catalyst. What it does is it draws out the toxins. So the toxins are positively charged and the clay is negatively charged, so they oppose each other. So it draws out, just like if I've used it as a clay mask. Think about when you do a mask, you feel a tightness. What that is, is it's pulling out all the impurities. So um, she talks about how clay works. It's pretty phenomenal um, how, how it works in the body. And it has four primary attributes, which are balance, detoxify, stimulate, and alkalize. And let's see what else. Um, and it's been used all over the world for centuries, and it's just amazing. There is a science behind it, um, and this book talks about that as well. I'm not going to go into all the details. There's so much to do to share in here, but you can definitely get this book. I highly recommend it. And there's different types of clays, too. She talks about kaolin, illolite, chlorite, vermiculites. Mixed group clays, smectites. Um, so, uh, you know, there's so many different types that you want to learn what's best. Uh, there's a historical reference chapter here where it says it's been used for thousands of years. She talks about the different countries and different times it's been used for different purposes, <clears throat> both internally and externally. That's the other thing, it can be used for both. And let's see what else. Then she talks about how to select the clay. That's also very important because not all clays are equal. And um, the, the products that I was using from Living Clay were actually very pure, very, uh, you know, fine, fine powder. And so I recommend those, even though she's not associated with them. That, that's the ones I've actually tried and reviewed. Um, and she gives you really good information on how to tell if you're getting a good clay or not. <clears throat> how to compare it, what it should look like. Um, and she runs through a whole list of questions, you know, that you should know if you're going to use it for health purposes because you want to use the right ones in order to see, the right one, I should say, in order to see the benefit. She talks about the pH and um, is it calcium-based, is it clean, 
is it capable of adsorbing and absorbing, which I didn't quite explain that she does talk about here in the book. Uh, there's a difference between adsorption and absorption. Adsorption with a D is the process by which substances stick to the outside surface of the clay, molecule similar to the way a strip of Velcro works. And then, um, let's see what she says about adsorption. Absorption. Um, she says that. Um, let me see. I don't see that here. Uh, oh, oh yeah, here. Absorption is a process by which the positive ionic particles are drawn into the structural body of a clay molecule, much like a sponge soaks up liquid. And the smectites are known as expanding clays. So that's the difference between the two of those words. Um, so yeah, she gives you some good information, like how it's milled. Like, so the book's really comprehensive. Then she has uh, clay facts and frequently asked questions. Again, things you should know. Clay is not a drug. It's a catalyst. There's different types of clay deposits. It can be used in a multitude of ways. Um, so it says, this is a very good sentence. Clay captures and removes rather than kills. So it takes it out. <clears throat> uh, let's see what else. <clears throat> it's very difficult to overdose <clears throat> on a quality clay. No one has ever died from taking clay. That's good. Oh, and a disclaimer. I should have said this in the beginning, so I'm going to say it now. Disclaimer. This is educational information. It's not meant to be a supplement and not to be a substitute for professional medical care. This information has not been evaluated by the FDA and myself and Perry A and Brandon and any others associated with this company or with the products are not responsible. If you do have any adverse reactions, which are very doubtful, but you should always consult the healthcare professional first. So I'm not, I don't have to take any responsibility. So I meant to say that in the beginning, so I'll say it now. And um, everything here is just recommendations. And people ask other questions like, you know, will it leach out other nutrients? Um, how does it affect the flora in your digestive tract? Is, is aluminum in, ca in clay dangerous, which is not? Are clay's dietary supplements like vitamins? Um, can you brush your teeth with it? I mean, she, she, they give, there's really good questions here that you'd want to read through. You want to read through this book pretty comprehensively. Is it, is it safe for elderly people, which it is? Um, how should you take it? And um, then she goes on uh, chapters about detoxification, what it does in the body from different people who've talked about it and how people have used it to detox. And again, she also talks about using it and what the measurements are, which I did explain somewhat in the other videos, like how much you would use, like if you were going to take it internally, how to make your own clay, how to also use it um, externally for baths or um, on a, like a mask, foot baths as well. So there's, there's different, and the information you want to really follow it pretty much to the letter of the law. She knows what she's talking about. She, she has a really good take on it. Now, when I did it, I only, I think, did it for like three weeks. Um, so I don't know that I saw any, I don't remember if I saw any actual, you know, change or anything, but probably it's better to do it long term. Don't just do it for a few weeks and think you're going to have results because everybody's different. So you want to keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I mean, it's amazing what, what clay can be used for. And then she has a chapter here on treating 180 ailments naturally. Now, that's amazing. From A to Z, practically. From abrasions to abscessed teeth to acne to you name it. Blisters, boils, bee stings, broken bones even, burns, cancer, chemical sensitivities, uh, detoxification, of course, depression, drug addiction, frostbite. I mean, it's amazing. how, And she gives you really good information on how much to use, how often to use it, and uh, so that's really good. All the way up to, let's see, it goes all the way up to yeast infection, so it goes from abscesses, you know, so there's no Z, I imagine, um, abrasions, I should say, to yeast infection. So pretty much anything and everything you could think of, it can help with. Now, what's really phenomenal, too, is one of the later chapters of the chapter on what others are saying about bentonite clay. Now, I read through this, and I was just blown away how people have healed. Someone had a broken wrist they healed in three weeks without a cast. That's unheard of. Arthritis, disc bulges, uh, autism. Autism is a really big thing, how people have seen amazing, amazing changes. I mean, maybe it's not completely cured, but it's taking out all the leaching, it, it, drawing out all the toxins, and they use, do clay baths for that mostly. Um, let's see, what else was pretty amazing here? Someone who burns their hands with boiling water, with hydrochloric acid. Um, let's see what else was really amazing. 
There was some really amazing. A diabetic facing leg amputation. Pretty amazing. Uh, type 2 diabetes, digestive problems, colon surgery and chemo recovery. Um, let's see. Other diseases, funguses. So these are all people's stories that they're sharing their results. Lyme disease, uh, Parkinson's tremors. Uh, you know, sinus problems. I mean, it goes on and on. Just blow, blew me away, some of these stories. Um, let me see. There was some that were really amazing. Uh, people with teeth issues, skin conditions, you, you name it, they've seen results. Um, even a skin tumor on the arm. So, and then, then another chapter she talks about its uses for pets, livestock, wildlife, fish, and fowl. And I don't have any animals to tell you about, but there's testimonials here on different animals that have had, you know, cysts, tumors, change, you know, uh, enlarged liver, you know, puncture wounds, you name it. So, uh, pretty amazing. And then uh, she has another chapter on recipes, how you could actually use it in making food. And then another chapter on the FDA. Um, you know, they don't... And what was interesting in here, it says that... Um, Let's see, there was something in here that says it's not a food or not a supplement. I, I don't remember where it said that, but I wish I did. Um, but we have the freedom to share this information with you because it's important that the public have this information available. So um, I do not see that information. I thought I, I, thought I, I, thought I knew where it was. but. Um, then there's another thing called Claytronics, which is some new computer type system where it's going to work, I don't know, some other way where they're going to make a living cell like a brain chip using the clays. Um, and of course, health preservation, how it preserves, and then she has a resource listing at the end for other things that you might want to look into. So overall, so like she says here, this is a definitive guide to understanding how clay works. Um, and she guides you through all the scientific research, testimonials. She provides you with protocols, which I said before. And so this is something you definitely want to explore. It's the Calcium Bentonite Clay Book, Nature's Pathway to Healing by Perry A. I think you'll get a lot of benefit out of this, and I highly recommend you start using it. If you're kind of on the fence about consuming it internally, start using it externally, and you will see results. And, of course, over the long term is how you want to do it because then you'll see the most benefits. So I thank you for watching. It's the Rawsome Vegan Gal.